stretch, you know, doing karate when he was young. He was doing karate all his life. And um, um, he always said he was going to be famous one day. He was young, teaching all the other young guys coming up. You know, uh, on the basketball court, doing karate, people playing ball. He did a lot of different things. And people, some people didn't believe in him, but as he kept going to school, tournaments and winning trophies, and he said one day he's going to be famous. That sucker whooping, he surprised the world. I, I grew up with him. I, I, mean, I was around him a lot. I, I have a kid by a girl, and he have a kid by another girl. I, I hung out places with him. I'm surprised of him, because, you know, he's he, he been into it so long, but he got away from it for maybe a couple weeks, you know what I mean? And then he just got right back into it. You know, he, he, you know, he just thought, you know what I mean, he wanted things to happen fast, and it didn't happen so fast. He was just, you know, he, he was getting away from it. He's been through thick and thin. A uh, lot of problems, ups and downs, but we've been through a lot. So uh, he stuck with it, and, uh, and uh, he said he can do it. So uh, now I see that he achieved his goal. He's come a long way. But without you, Mike, I wouldn't have... I mean, I'm saying this, and this ain't for the camera, Mike. His ambition was to dominate the world of the martial arts experts. This is the Urban Serpent's Terrorist Revolution. We strivers, survivors, trying to make that mighty dollar. Huh? Hanging with the best in London houses where we buy that. I had to get out of the 
gon' hustle and they clean my head. Go gave me a tenner to smash my my cornbread. I'm a clever threat. I live in sis who never smack. A pay yourself to me it's like I've been to a Chevrolet. A lot of rappers scream murder in their best of rhymes. Only hustlers have been cut and killed. I'm a hustler, and I ain't worried about your boy. I can't stand no flesh and a monster with the toy. Bring a noise to all you flops cutting my cane. I keep them things and I'm breaking you boy. And I'm a hustler, and I ain't worried about your boy. I can't stand no flesh and a monster with the toy. Bring a noise to all you flops cutting my cane. I keep them things and I'm breaking you boy. It's not just a sport, it's more. To some, it's a way of life for them. To others, it's simply an effective method of self-defense. To me, it's a combination of all of these things. I got into music by beatboxing. We came up with the average bird. Changing into something, you know, the music. And you change yourself to come from. So it's just a, a way of expressing yourself. I can put it that way. It, you know, we can understand. Urban Spurring is like, it's an urban thing. It's like, it's, it's new, it's different. People are in, they got rappers all on top of I got bling, bling, I got a change, you know. Or I got weed, I got more weed than you. I got a nice car, you know. And we talk about, you know, we trying to change it back to the, the freedom of speech, the real freedom of speech. Not to what you got or what you want. Or how many girls you got inside. I got shot. Now, I knew the dude for about six years. Six years down the road, I walk up to the dude. I'm walking home one day. I stop and we talk and we have a regular conversation. He shakes my hands. He hugs me. We talk. My cousin just got murdered. I'm trying to hear that. My brother just got murdered eight months ago. I'm trying to deal with this situation. I'm just coming from my uncle house. Two days after I come from my uncle house. I'm just getting out of the job and got another job with the Southwest Airlines trying to be a mechanic. I turn my back on the police for one second. I'm walking down the street, I make a right, I make a left. I turn to an alley, no shortcuts. Dark. Now they got cameras, but you still can't really see an alley. I took a shortcut, all I heard was footsteps. Boom, boom, boom. All I see was a shadow. All you can see is a shadow. Clap, clap, they put it to my face, a pow, I'm on the ground. I'm bleeding to death, I have. I lost 18 units of blood. Had my body blood for my best friend. Then I got back up. I went to be Mr. Tough Guy. You listen to 50 Cent, some people listen to 50 Cent. Many men push that upon me. Blood in my eyes, dog, and I can't see. I'm trying to be the best it could be. Trying to take my life away. That's 50 Cent. That's what I was thinking when I was shot on the ground. I get back up because I'm trying to take it up with each other. He shot me in my hand, spun me around, lost my finger. Can you imagine your finger hanging from your, your hand? When you get up and you see your finger on the back, you feel your finger on the back of your hand? That's just disgusting to me. I mean, I'm in my own blood bubble. And I can't do nothing but sit there, you know, and think, like, what's going on? Who am I? Get up. The police almost run you over. You fall back down because you think the police are going to hit you. You get up again and they tell you to stand up. Oh, he's shot. You just realize I'm shot. That's what the city is. That's what the city is about. That's just life. I'm in the hospital. I'm unconscious. When I wake up, I got amnesia. I can't remember who I am. Who shot me? I don't know. It's not about not snitching. When you will, it's about you don't even know who you are. I can't even tell you my name. Two ladies. It's too much after that. I couldn't even realize who it was that shot me. It took me until now, so I'm still finding out things that I remember. Don't walk down long alleys and dark alleys at night, and don't try to be a tough guy, because it will be to kill.